ever have the feeling there's a basket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a curtain in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a slock behind the clock. And that self up on that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a ink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp, and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but that yachtle in the bottle. Some are friendly, some are not. I like the zabel on the table and the gear under the chair, but the bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nut boards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But the toothbrush on my toothbrush, him, I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that bug under the rug. And the quimney up the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the zell scoots down the hall. But the yips on the steps, they're great fun to have around, and so are the many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller, and the geller and the deller, and the beller and the weller, and the zeller in the cellar. and the gilling on the ceiling, and the zower in my shower, and the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it, that's the kind of house I live in, and I hope we never leave it.